All right, guys, today we're going to try to evict this Burg Vector Diamant from the naughty bucket. This thing has been in there for at least four years, maybe five years. Adrian Weber originally gave me this. It was absolutely brand new when I got it. Look, I've really handled this a lot. I've tried to pick this many, many times. And the reason that I haven't been able to pick it is because, uh, well, first of all, you have just an awesome keyway. So with a 15,000th pick, I can go from that edge right there, but I can't get up around that curve. And you absolutely have to, and I'm sure Adrian picked this on purpose. Look at all of the high cuts on this, especially the one hiding in the very back. I find that with a 15,000th, I can usually get access to about the first two or three pins. After that, the keyway pinched the, the pick, so no way. And today when I was digging through, I remembered that I hadn't tried this since... I got these 12,000th pick from Rare Elements. So I thought it'd be a great chance to evict this thing and prove once again that these 12s can really come in handy. All right. Like I said, I've done this too many times. This thing is full of spools. All right, here we go. Moderate tension. It is pretty strong spring on that core. And again, I'm going to try to monkey around with... <laughs> There we go. I think when I do that, it tries to focus on the surface. I think that's, well, that's my excuse anyway. All right, here we go. Okay, that was pin one. He's been picked a thousand times. That's two. Okay, it is starting to drag a little bit. Here's pin three. I'm feeling counter rotation. Okay, and there we go. And now I'm up to three. Now, now we're breaking new ground. I'm trying to get under pin four. I'm going to have to go around like this. See if I can halfway pick him and then move the pick up to the ledge. Here we go. I think something must have fallen down. There's pin four. Counter rotation. I'm barely under him. Okay, I think we just picked four. Let's check everybody in the front. Okay, I'm up to four. So again, I'm breaking new ground here. I've never done that before with a 15,000th pick. But you saw at an angle, I don't have a lot of extra room here to play with to get at the last two pins. And I would hate to get beat yet again. Okay, I'm getting counter rotation. I'm, I'm actually down on the bottom here. See so if I can put the tip of that. About to break my pick. All right, I'm going to push him up as far as I can, and then remove the pick, slide him back to the ledge, and see if that was enough to get the tip of the pick underneath the next one. And it's not. Dang it. Oh, wait a minute. All right, I made it all the way to the rear, so don't blow it now. <laughs> ah, yes! Yes! I'm tempted to set this thing on fire. Four or five years in the naughty bucket and all it took, I had the technology laying around, I just never applied it. What a nasty, nasty bidding on this lock. All right, if you are an advanced picker and you would like to take a crack at this, all you gotta do, send me a, send me a, leave in the comment that you'd like to get or contact me by email. I would like someone else to try this thing. This is just an awesome lock, and he's got a lot of miles on him. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal, and no, you're not getting my 12,000s. Thanks, guys.